everybody, it's Ty Forward here today. Um, I am doing kind of a different video today. I mean, ask a few friends. It's just for help for a few friends. Uh, there is videos out there already, but I'm just going to do a little quick tour. Uh, remember, look at the description too. Description. But first, if you want to hack this, is how to hack your Wii. Especially for people who want to hack Golden Eyes, just for fun. Not just be annoying. Anyway. Um, and I just... Whoops. Oh. So as you can see, first you need to get the homebrew channel, and to do that you will need to go to your Wii settings, oh god, Wii settings, you want to go to Wii settings, this one, then you want to go to, yeah, internet, sorry, whoops, you want to go to internet, uh, console information, so once you get onto your console information you should have your MAC address, your MAC address should be private so that's why I've covered it with this so you don't see it, but you want to you want to write it down on a notebook or something, just keep it, and once you've done that you want to go on the computer. But when you go on your computer you need to make sure you have an SD card with some memory on it, so example, you need to act uh, have some have some free memory on it. So yeah, you need an SD card that's workable. And yeah, so this here we go. So basically, all you have to do, guys, is insert your SD card. Going on to Internet Explorer, there is three things you have to do. First, get the Homebrew channel. All the description, uh, everything will be in the description below. But before you go on this, guys, go back to your Wii. I just forgot to say something. So at the top right corner, it should say this. You want to make sure you have version. Four, depends what version you got, guys. If this is version 4.3, forget about what country you're from. Actually, do remember. That's important. If it says E, you're from uh, European. If it says U, it means you're from USA or something like that. But I think you guys from uh, Great Britain or anything European. Um, you just want to keep that on note. 4.3 that you need to know your numbers and guys if you're doing 3.4 I'm doing spe spe specifically for 4.3 so if you're doing 4.3 carry on with my method but if you're not there's, there'll be enough video online so as much done that I'll, the, uh, the website will be in the description below but um basically you put in your MAC address will be a thing your MAC address it should say letter bomb I'm not going to go on the website now then you write the little code, it gives you like a little code, like 645, and you just type that in to make sure you're not a robot. And then you just press cut the blue or red wire, it's just a little joke, press it. Then once you've done that, you want to move, you've got your SD card over there, you want to click on the SD card. So once you click on the SD card, remember to put it in obviously, don't worry about all of this. You want to create a new file, actually not yet, you just want to basically, once you uh, get the file from the internet, you want to right click, right click it and press unzip. And then once you've done that, or extracts or extract, once you've extracted it, move all the files just to your SD card. Then go back on your Wii, oh yeah, and take the SD card out. Why? Taking your SD card is about right clicking, eject, take your SD card out, go back to the Wii. Once back on your Wii, you want to click on the Wii message board, put your SD card in, in the little slot there, in your Wii. Then you want to go left and right, just go left, right, like, like that, and then you want to go back again. Do it a few times, and it should come up with a red letter with a bomb in it. Click on it, and don't panic, guys. And it should basically come up with the settings, install Homebrew Channel, stuff like that. And then that's it. That's how you get the Homebrew Channel. Now to hack Goldeneye. So once you insert your SD back in, you want to add a new folder. New. Folder. And once you click it, rename it. Apps. Once you rename it apps, you want to go on the internet again. Link will be in the description below. Uh, it will basically be called Gecko. 
you download the file, you unzip it again, extract, basically to unstract it, I'll pause it quickly. Basically I can't show you how to unzip it but it should have a little zip on the file, you just want to right click it and up here it should say extract or somewhere up here it says extract, press it, it'll come up with a new folder and all that you know. So once you do that, you want, obviously when you download a gecko, unstract it, you want to move it into the apps folder. So once you've done that, the whole gecko folder, it should call gecko 18 I think, you just want to eject your SD card, press that, eject it, and uh, actually don't eject it yet, sorry I'm really bad at uh, tutorials. Um, you want to get one more thing is how to get the codes and stuff. There's be websites out there in the description below. If you're power, you would be. I'm just gonna put power ones down. Uh, it'll give you like codes and stuff. You copy the code and I'll show you what to do. You've got to go type in Ocarina Code Manager. Be in the description below. The download will be in the description below. Download that. Then once you downloaded it, install it to your computer. And I'll show you what it looks like. Um, just pause it. Should look like that. So when you open it, should look like that. Ocarina Code Manager, and basically all you want to type in is the game code. It will say on the co the code list website. It will say what your code is from whatever uh, country you're from. Uh, not country, county. I can't even. I don't even know now. Region. Um, and then you want to type in the game name. It doesn't. And then you want to press store ID, and, t and then you want to press add com code, add name of the code, type in the name of the code, then you type what the, uh, don't worry about that actually, then you want to paste the code here, store modifications, exports GCT, and what you can do is add loads of codes, and it exports GCT, they'll export to your uh, SD card instantly, with your code things, and also once you are uh, Done all the stuff, you want to make sure you save it so you can go back to it again and edit the codes and stuff like that. It's really bad tutorial, guys. I'm so sorry. All you have to do is eject it, go back onto the Homebrew channel. It should come up a little app called Gecko. You load it and just press start game when Gecko loads and it closes all your codes. And it'll just say codes activated. Little tutorial, guys. So sorry, it's really bad. I mean, I'm gonna, not going to lie, it's a really bad tutorial. But if you kind of understand what I meant, all the links be in the description below, remember. Tell me if you're you USA or PAL, I can go and sort it out for you. PAL, this is for PAL, European only. So here we go guys. See you later guys, thanks for watching.